All right, I wanted to do a quick little three minute video on how to get going in Drambo. All right, so for launch Drambo, you have an empty session, no instruments. So the first thing that you can do is hit this little plus sign, go to add audio unit instrument, pick your instrument that you like, expand this view, pull this down, pick a preset that you like, Pull this back up, close this, and start playing on the keyboard. Now, if you don't know how to play very well, what you can always do is you can actually set your keyboard to a specific key. So let's do Dorian. Let's change the octave, go up to C3. So there's a couple ways that you can play. You can go over here to the tempo uh, dropdown, turn off quantization or leave it on. I like to turn it off because I like to play loose and quick. Um, now what's really cool is that if you look at the playhead here, doo -doo 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 -doo, it's playing at a speed of one. So it's playing at a speed of 16th notes. If I change it to one half, it'll change the speed in half. It's a quarter of the speed, an eighth of the speed. So basically, um, in one uh, standard 16-step sequence bar, you can actually slow down uh, how quickly it plays. So if you go over here into the grid view, you can see how fast the playhead is actually moving at one speed. But the one that we just set to, what did we set it to? We set it to one quarter or one eighth is playing at an eighth of the speed. I'll set it to a quarter of the speed. Get out of this view. Okay, let's go ahead and record something. So I'm just turning on the record head. That sounds amazing. Now here's what's really cool too. So this little panel here with the three bars, you can adjust your velocity dynamically. You can adjust your gait. You can offset things if you want to kind of get really kind of swingy timing. You can also adjust the probability. This is really cool. So it's not playing every note. It's really good for drums and some ambient textures. Um, this cycle thing is the best thing since sliced bread. So this basically tells the playhead how often to play. So um, over the course of four bars, it's not going to play at all. Oh, that one will. But what I want it to do is I want it to play on the first and third bars. So those notes will only play on the first and third bars. So if we start it, You'll hear it the first time, you won't hear it, you'll hear it, you won't hear it. Okay, now you're not gonna hear it. And why this is really cool is it just allows you to have a really dynamic um, session of playback. So I'm gonna add my favorite all time drum machine. I'm gonna add a really cool Here's, I'm going to do a long press, copy it, paste it. I'm going to go pick a different uh, patch, go to a higher octave. Okay, let's see if we can knock something out here. Let's go to a quarter speed. C4 is on the first spot, but I actually want it to play later. So this is where this cycle um, control actually comes into play. So what I'm going to have it do here, 
um, over the course of four bars, those notes here, uh, the A sharp four through the chord, are gonna play on the second time. And the C4, instead of playing first, is actually gonna play on the third time around. So let's watch this. So you won't hear these notes at all. Okay, now you'll hear these notes. And then you'll hear the C4. So this, this is why I love Drambo, because it has this really great flexibility to kind of remap, restructure a song with very simple elements. And that's really amazing. And it's just about how you're setting the pace of a particular track and how often you want notes to play, um, adjusting the probability of notes. Um, let's do one last thing. Okay. I always like to add a little bit of modulation to my drum so they don't always sound so static. So let's add a filter and I've added an analog filter and an LFO and then if I press this little arrow here I can actually map the cutoff to the LFO and if I want to get really really cool here I can add an oscilloscope. Where did the oscilloscope go? There you go and then I can map that to the LFO so I can kind of see how it's playing. That's going a little too fast. Let's we'll slow that down. Spam, spam. All right. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Uh, I'm actually going to save this because it's actually kind of kind of nice. Um, September. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, little how to groove. All right. Well, save samples. Hopefully you like that. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Bye.